Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And after many many requests, Sanati ji is back again into Exotic Astrology. And today he is going to share with us the most awaited topic of astrology. One of those, in fact, uh, remedies for Saturn and Rahu. And he just told me that if the viewers of Exotic Astrology and other places like this series on remedies, then we are very soon going to do it for all the remaining seven planets, but we will start with Saturn and Rahu. All right, so welcome back, sir, once again to Exotic Astrology. Nice to see you back. So the stage is all yours. Namaste, Bubby G. G. It is so good to be back on Exotic Astrology with our spiritual community here discussing remedy. Bubby G. Jack, G. and I were just discussing, yes, it's great as Jyotish is a tool for help for us to help us understand our karma. But remedy is really the most important aspect because it helps us improve our karma, remove the help limit the malefic aspects of our karma and encourage the auspicious manifestations. And if you're talking about planets which normally affect us in a malefic way, those are the most important planets to have a beneficial relationship with. So people who have Saturn, Mars, uh, Moon, and Rahu, K2, all in good position, these are having uh, planets that can act difficult, but they're acting in a more auspicious manner. So, and hopefully if you apply remedy, no matter what difficult position your planet is in this lifetime, by applying thorough remedies throughout this lifetime, then you will be born with a better position in the next lifetime. Yes, Bubby, do you, do you agree Perfect. with that? Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So let's start with Saturn. Now, the best day to honor Saturn, before we start with the remedies, though, when is the most appropriate time to perform Saturn remedy? Um, first of all, people in Saturn Mahadasha. Also, people in Saturn return, which means Saturn is returning to its natal position. Also, the Sati Sati, which means Saturn is transiting your natal moon position. Um, and, of course, if you're a Capricorn uh, or Aquarius ascendant, good to do the Saturn remedies as well. Um, but these are the main things which we look for when applying the Saturn. Oh, but, but, but again, we're going to talk about two different types of remedies. Because sometimes we do plan it for a remedy which we already have a positive relationship with to further encourage that positive relationship. And other times we do some very specific, uh, specific and special remedies with planets we have debilitated relationship with. Not because we want to increase the power of a debilitated planet, because that will cause difficulties for us, but we want to remove the debilitation effect. So when we're working with planets in good position, the remedies are a lot different than working with planets in difficult position. And that's just something I want to make clear. But as we get into the Saturn remedy, Saturn Mahadasha, Saturn Antardasha, Saturn Return, Sati Sati, Capricorn and Aquarius Ascendant. Now, the best day to honor Shani, Shani's Charaya, is on Saturday. But if you're in Saturn Return or Sati Sati or uh, Saturn Dasha, then you can honor Saturn every day. It's not like, because Saturn is always affecting you. So um, for for the people who are being lightly influenced by Saturn, then you can work for Saturn and only Saturday. But if you have heavy influence by Saturn, then I encourage these remedies every day. Excuse me, my throat's a little hoarse. <coughs> now, the next remedy I would like to apply is color remedy. Um, the, uh, my favorite color remedies for Saturn are black and blue, but they have very different type of energy. So if your Saturn is in good position, like exalted Saturn or something like that, or Saturn Capricorn, Saturn Aquarius, then you should wear dark blue. 
then you should wear dark blue because this is the natural color which gives Saturn more power. This is the natural color which gives Saturn more strength. If your Saturn is in a difficult position, like it's in debilitation or enemy sign, then I would encourage you to wear black. Black because it's known to protect you from negative energies. So Saturn, to increase power of Saturn with Remedy, if you have good position of Saturn, you use blue. But if you want to avoid some of the over heavy effect of Saturn, then you wear some of the black as a protection. And black is also the color Libra, right? And Saturn gets exalted there. <laughs> exactly. That's an excellent point. So they're even more so. And uh, so if you notice you're going to a public space where there are going to be a lot of people and they're going to be in all sorts of states of consciousness, it's a good time to wear black. So that way you protect yourself from not being influenced by all the, uh, if you're at a concert, all the people drinking around you and everything like that. Um, the next thing is whether we want to increase the power of Saturn or to reduce the malefic effect of Saturn when we look at remedies. But I always encourage working with the Saturn Yantra. For all of the planets I like working with the Yantras, you can email me or maybe I will post in the comments of this video the Yantra, but if I can't, you can email me for it. And basically, we honor, um, when you look at the Yantra, when you're performing a, the mantra, it increases the power of the mantra. So the Yantra is a very integral part of the um, sadhana process. Now, when we get into Saturn Mantra, I do not recommend Saturn Mantra as remedy for everybody. Nilanjana samabasham rabi putram yamagrajam chayamartanda sambutam tam namami chanaischrayam. Now, this remedy is known to increase the power of Saturn and connect to Saturn, um, which you don't necessarily want to do. But there is a deva which resides over Lord Saturn, and that's Shiva, Om Namah Shivaya. So when we're working to reduce the malefic effect of Saturn, I say perform 108 Shiva mantra, Om Namah Shivaya. But if someone has a weak Saturn and they need to strengthen their Saturn to help their career, to help their marriage, to help their relationship, to help gain some stability in their life, then they do the traditional uh, Saturn mantra I, just, I was performing just a moment ago. Um, now, for the Ayurvedic uh, mm -hmm. remedies when it comes to Saturn, Saturn is a Vata planet. So usually people with Saturn-related challenges have too much Vayu. And, 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 and Rahu is also a Vata planet. So when we get with the Ayurvedic remedies, Rahu and Saturn, we are trying to pacify Vata. Um, my herb for Saturn is the same as my herb for Rahu. And Rahu is akin to Saturn. They're both related to each other because they can create tamasic influence in the mind. So you have to reduce the tamasic influence in the mind.